Zochil Nachinoyam. And that the Imus Hanefesh. And that Mimus Aluach, which was part of his nature and his upbringing, combined with Zahabahova Tzahitai, with the Taylor of the Alzi Albonan of this Heilige Yeshiva. And he became <coughs> such a unique Shilu of Chachmi Bogum and Chachmi Yemez Yitzchoyel. This would have been so, even if he wouldn't have suffered such so much physical pain. It would have been the same Gavra Rabba, the same Lord of God of Matera, the Vajashiku who said she knew him and gave pardon and spoke in learning, was able to be Nishtra Rebbe Barachabal Taif to any young Talmud. Would have been the same, even if he weren't physically a sick man. If one takes upon, who would, if one reflects upon the Yisur with which he did all this, to think that he was able to climb to such heights, to reach, reach such madrigas, suffering constantly. But the Apostle in Mishle, whereby Shlemei Amela conveys the secret of such godless. In Apostle state, Ruach Ish Yechalkel Machalehu, the Ruach Necheya Mi Yisrael. A Ish Asher Ruach Boy, who possesses Nishmas Chaim, a Ruach that is a Kli Kibbul. Yeshua ben Nun was told, was described as an Ish Asher Ruach Boy, and him, Moshe Rabbeinu, should appoint as the Mani Creator. And Moshe Rabbeinu, by Yisrael, all of us, by Tzaveyu, he created, he made him into a clean Malay Kaddush, with Machachma, as Gaji says, not for Mesh, because he was a Ish Asher Ruach Boy. The Rosh Hashivas, the Rosh Hashivas Ruach Ish was indescribable. And that was able to overcome, to be misgaber on the machra. He carries the machra. He sustained life being very sick. Ruach ish, the chalk of machrayu. And he didn't succumb to a ruach nechaya. But a ruach nechaya nachman of etzlan, ni yisoena, who can carry this. Who can carry a ruach nechaya? And that's the rachen one gives up. One becomes depressed. And it's almost the end of Chaim Ruchdiyan. But the Yeshiva grew through the Ruach Ish, the Chalk al And that was such a unique godless which astounded people. You saw him here in Seder, in the Bedroshim of this great place of God of Akadish, the Nira Yeshiva in Yerushalayim. But we, him, in Chutzla Oretz, where he was Isaac, not only in Havotz's Torah, but mainly in Havotz's Torah. We almost didn't believe what we saw. We didn't believe that there can be such a person who is Ruach Ish completely, completely overbears his body, his physical pain, his tzad, for the sake of the Tzad HaKadosh. 
and we're told that he refused to take some of the medications which were advised by the doctors because it might make him drowsy, it might cause somehow a lessening of his intellectual tired and that he refused. Now the state of the Pesach, the Vizichloi, Yehul Halkish, says another Pesach in Mishloi. He wasn't ready to sacrifice the Kayach HaSech. He was ready to be saved when Yisur and Negoim. But the Mishloi, the Kayach HaTayla, the ability to say Shiyogim and Chabulas and Baden and talk and learning and to be Isaac at the same time wherever he was and keeping this great place of God of the alive that he wasn't ready to sacrifice.